Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Today we're looking at a super affordable watch with some nice components, which is kind of rare. Now, some people might look at this and think, well, this is something like a Daniel Wellington or, you know, something of that nature. But no, this actually has some good components and it's like a quarter of the price. So that's why I wanted to review this on the channel. This is from Castle Watch Company and this is their Corbell model. Now, Castle Watch Company got their start not too long ago. They're mainly producing this model. A lot of cool different dial variations and nice strap variations as well. Now, they are coming out with a Kickstarter campaign pretty soon for a nice automatic watch, which looks really cool. So I'll throw a picture of that up right now so you can get a quick look at that. And you can also check uh, a little more about that on their website, which I will leave in the uh, description below. Now, this watch uh, is the Corbell, like I stated. It's priced at $59, so um, what's so great about it? Let's take a closer look, guys. So this is the box the Corbell comes in. I mean, for $59, I really wasn't expecting even a box. I mean, it's a pretty cool little box here, as you can see, with the Castle Watch Co. logo, a little kind of sparkle there. It opens up, and inside, under this protective padding, will be your watch, which I already took off because I took off the plastics already. So it's a very nice protective box uh, the watch comes with. Good to see. Not too bad there. Now the actual watch itself, here is the actual watch. So this is the white dial variation with the sand uh, genuine leather strap. Now some basic specifications on the Castle uh, Corbell series. This is a 42 millimeter case comprised of complete 316L stainless steel all around. It's completely brushed as you can see. And for $59, I mean the brushing is pretty, pretty darn good I must say. Uh, nice curves here on the lugs, no blemishes or anything like that as you can see. Uh, on the top of the lugs it is brushed as well, the smooth bezel is brushed as well, and it looks pretty good. Now getting to the thickness of the watch, it's a very thin watch coming in at only 8 millimeters thick. This houses a quartz Miyota movement made by Citizen, so that allows us to have a very thin watch at 8 millimeters, so it really fits nicely on the wrist. Also, it fits nicely on the wrist because these lugs curve nicely and gently down on your wrist. Now we have a 22 millimeter lug width, so if you're planning on changing straps, you should have no problems finding another strap, although I don't think you will be changing straps on this watch anytime soon if you did purchase one, because it comes with quite a nice strap. We'll get a little more into that when I throw it on my wrist later. So we have some nice Dauphine hands, this kind of off-white dial. It's not like a pure white, it's a little bit off-white, more of a grayish tone, I would say. Polished Dauphine hands, a pretty simple ticking seconds hand over there. A nice sharp applied markers, Castle is printed over here. We have a pull and push crown, which is signed as well with the little Castle logo. I'm going to go ahead and pop that out so we can see the logo on the dial right here. If you can see that, there's a little Castle with a little flag, I thought that it's pretty cool, their logo. Now this is not a water resistant watch, this is more of your casual everyday 9 to 5 watch. Um, it's an affordable option and it's pretty good quality from what I've seen so far. So we also do get a sapphire crystal, so that's another big thing for $59. You're not going to find a watch with a sapphire crystal. So you know, uh, Castle's big thing was basically you know, trying to give you the most for your money, while some other brands who produce similar watches just like this don't really give you that much for your money and they charge you like four times the price at like $200, you know, which is kind of a ripoff. So now going to the case back, as you can see it's a screwed down case back. We get the Castle logo again, Sapphire Crystal, Japan Movement, water resistant 5 ATMs. So this watch is water resistant to 50 meters. Um, it's okay if you splash it back and drop it in the water for a little bit, but you don't want to go swimming with this watch. From the back, we can also see the quick release strap here, or the quick release mechanism here. So you just push that in, it pops right off, and you can change straps. This is a genuine leather sand colored strap, and it's a very nice strap. It's like super supple and broken in already, but it feels nice on the, uh, on the bare skin there. It feels really nice, and it's definitely comfortable. As you can see, Castle Watch Co, Corbell, and Genuine Leather. We also do get some nice stitching going up and down here, which looks pretty neat as well. Okay, so, yeah, now getting on to the movement. So this runs a quartz movement on a battery, which means it's going to be super accurate. Uh, you know, it runs on a battery. You're probably going to have to change the battery in a couple years. 
So you don't really have to worry about that. In terms of the actual accuracy of the watch, um, you're only going to gain a few seconds a month, so you never have to constantly reset the watch like an automatic watch, which is a big plus. Also, you know, it states it's a sunburst style, and we do get a little bit of sunburst, although it is more, it's more pronounced on the other dial variations, I would say. Like, they have a nice blue one, I believe, which really pops out with these sunbursts. As you can see, it's a slightly su slight sunburst here effect on this dial right here, which is a nice little hint there for some uh, visual excitement, I would say. So this watch does not have any loom. It's more of a kind of casual dress watch. Go with a pair of jeans, a nice shirt uh, with some sleeves or a button-up shirt, something of that nature. Um, I, don't, I don't know if I'd call it a fashion watch. Um, it has a sapphire crystal. It runs the Miyota. I believe this is running the Miyota 2035, which is made by the Citizen Watch Group, if you guys know of Citizen Watches. Uh, they make this movement, their, their watch group. So it's a pretty decent quartz movement. I have no problems with that whatsoever. The crown is usable, it's nicely sized, and it's a very simple watch. That's pretty much to it. I want to throw it on my 6.5 inch wrist, show you exactly how it wears on the wrist. Here is the Corbel on my 6.5 inch wrist. As you can see, the strap is like basically broken in already. We also do get a nice little signed buckle there with Castle, which is quite deeply, quite deep there as you can see. It's, uh, it's pretty nicely done there. Two safety keepers here, and it wears just end to end, I would say, on my 6.5 inch wrist. It fits nice, it looks casual, it's simple, elegant, and it can be dressed up or dressed down at the same time, in my opinion. So there it is on the wrist. I think it looks good. Uh, the strap is really nice, I must say that. I was impressed by the strap for $59. This is certainly the best strap you're going to find on a watch for $59. We get the sapphire crystal and we get a nice Miyota Quartz movement. I don't really know what else you can ask for for this price point. You know, the same brands producing these types of watches are charging a lot more money, and that was the whole thing with this company. So I want to know what you guys think about this watch. I think for $59, Sapphire Crystal, a beautiful strap, which punches way above its price point. Decent casework and finishing there, very comfortable on the wrist. I don't think you can go wrong for $59 there. So this is the Castle Core Bell. This is Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Check out the full written article on this watch on watchaddictchannel.com. Subscribe, like, share with your friends, and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Take it easy now. Bye.